Mm. Like, can I have an anonymous Masri profile? Yeah, we support that. You support that? Yeah, we are not even, not even we encourage that. So by default, ah. if you're gonna go through like an onboarding process right now, you will see that uh, by default, your Ethereum Ethereum address is your username. It's fun. When you when you go to Mazuri, you can like literally skip the whole onboarding, like without leaving any data about yourself. Because like we don't need it. Uh, at some point we will like, you know, highly suggest that you leave some contact data to us, but right now you can skip everything. Um and yeah, like by default, your username is just your Ethereum address. We have an option to like, you know, so you can add your uh, like legal name, uh, but only for people who, you know, spent, you know, 20, they have 20 years of experience and they build their whole personal brand about their legal name and then you don't want to lose the social right. capital. But by default, everybody is anonymous on the but website. But why do you encourage that? Being anonymous? Mm. Um, in this new paradigm, as I told you, you know, uh, you have a right to have five different lives on the internet. And, you know, our, our ideal case, our ideal scenario for the future of digital identity is where everybody um, leaves this life disconnected from each other. So you are, you have your, again, you have your professional self, you have your gaming self, you have your shitposting yourself. Um, and you have your like you know hobby one two three yourselves, and uh, your legal government identity is the only factor that connects these two. So um, the future where Mazuri as the product is the most valuable is the future where you don't use your legal name on the internet, and you're building much more uh, very much for this. Um, maybe at some point you know. It's, it's gonna show up. Our users like will want to use these legal names, and like it show it turns up that you know people actually love the government issue identities. Of course, there is a future like that, and as a business owner, uh, you know I have a duty to like adjust to this and like listen to my users. But uh, right now we're an opinionated product, and we support. I community. love it. I love how bold <laughs> you guys are in taking these decisions. Uh, do you think? that your Ethereum address identity will trump the importance of your legal identity uh, for the majority of people on Earth? With the right set of tools and, you know, user experience that we will build all over, like, next five years, I believe we have a shot for that. It's a, it's a bold thing. I, I don't want to be, you know... Overly confident, you know. I, 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 maybe as a startup founder, I, sh I should just like say yes, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> just don't, do, don't, don't say anything else. Um, that would be obviously, you know, not, not very informative. But uh, you know, this is what you want. Do you want this boldness? Um, no, but the real answer is that obviously, right now, we're not ready for that. You know, there's a huge set of problems with storing seed phrases of like using your losing your identity. Uh, you know, not leaving too much data on blockchains. Like, you know, blockchain scalability. Everything right now is okay, a problem. Okay, no, but let's break but down. Let's break.